One of the first things that we need to understand in trigonometry is how an angle affects an opposite side. As an angle increases or decreases in size, the opposite side from that angle will lengthen or shorten respectively, as we can see here in the demonstration. As this angle increases in size, notice the opposite side also increases in length. In a right angle triangle, the reference angle directly affects the length of the side that is opposite to the reference angle. So what is the reference angle? The reference angle is the angle that the formula is referring to. So there are two possibilities. The reference angle can be the angle that's already given in the equation, or it's the angle that needs to be solved. Notice in this example, sine 25 degrees is the angle being used in the formula. Therefore, the 25 degree angle is the reference angle or the angle that the formula refers to. In the second example, sine x equals opposite over hypotenuse. If the 25 degree angle was not known, it would be referred to with this variable x. It is still the reference angle. It is the angle that the formula is referring to. As that reference angle changes from 25 degrees to 35 degrees, notice the effect that it has on the opposite side of the triangle. When the angle increases by 10 degrees, the length of the opposite side increases by three quarters of an inch. And now we need to know what the sides of the triangle are called. We've referenced the opposite side several times. So one of the sides of a triangle is called the opposite side, and it is the side that is opposite to the reference angle. The adjacent side of a triangle is the side that is next to the angle. And as previously mentioned in our last video, the hypotenuse is always the longest side and always directly across from the right angle. In this example, angle B is our reference angle. Therefore, side B has to be the opposite side in this triangle. Side A is the adjacent side. Side C is never the adjacent side to an angle, as it's the longest side and is always the hypotenuse. If angle A is our reference angle, then side A is now our opposite side, and side B is now our adjacent side. So it is very important to understand that the opposite side and the adjacent side in a right angle triangle are relative to the reference angle. We must know the reference angle and then we can identify the sides of a triangle.